All right, in this lesson, I'm going to show you a few more um, word processing tools that are included in here. Uh, as we mentioned, we've used a few of them before, but let's use a common one, and that's bullet points. So let's say at the bottom of our document, we want to put some bullet points. So let's say um, this article is about poetry, so I'm going to put tools. Oh, just so we know, text color is going to be this, which is, I think, fine for now. And I'm going to say tools to become a great writer. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make that a header. So I'm going to go to Format, and I'm going to make it a header. But I'm going to make it smaller. So that made it huge, just like a lot of the other headers on this page. So I'm going to make it medium, like so, which is fine. Now here, it switched to paragraph mode, which is fine. But I'm thinking with our bullet points, that's too far left. So we're going to use our indent and outdent tools, just like you would in Word, and move them a little further in. So let's say, OK, what tools do we need to become a writer? Inspiration. Oops. Motivation. Um, good surroundings. And breaks from writing. Okay, now let's say at this point, that looks pretty good. Maybe I need less space there. But I want to make these bullet points a different color than the header. So I'm going to highlight them. And now I'm going to go to Style. And you notice these, this saves a lot of the styles I've already created. So let's pick Style 4. In this case, there was an error. So let's erase that fourth one and hit Return, just like you would in a lot of times in Word, um, formatting changes cause issues, so you just backspace. And especially with bullet points, you hit return again, and we have another number in, this, in, the, uh, in the list. So that, become, that looks pretty good. If I wanted to, I could underline this, for instance. That might look pretty good. So why don't I go over here to our... Stylus tool and hit underline. So that's style 14 I've created. So now I'm going to go and make it style 7, which is what I modified and it pushed the previous style into a different number, which is 14, that I modified. So, now I have to resize it again. Might make it a little bit bigger. Yeah, large is fine. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So I might go back and make some more changes to that. Maybe I want the numbers to be a different color or the uh, different font or whatever, but you get the idea. A lot of the same tools, um, if you're familiar with Word, can be used here very easily in Dreamweaver. So do some experimenting.